Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, February 27th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 27. The second note continued. The third order is a Christian community whose members, although varied in race, education, and character, are bound into a living whole through the love we share in Christ. This unity of all who believe in him will become, as our Lord intended, a witness to the world of his divine mission. In our relationship with those outside the order, we show the same Christ-like love and gladly give of ourselves, remembering that love is measured by sacrifice. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 61 and 62. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length to the days of the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day will I, I will fulfill my vows. For God alone my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail to crush me, all of you together, as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall? They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly, my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once. Twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. Lord God, in a threatening world we look to you as our rock of hope. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you 
and give us your grace and protection through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him, and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, People will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never be forgiven, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. For the one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our church leaders, for Bishop-elect Rachel, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism, confirmation, ordination, or consecration, and for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, remembering this day, Palestine, Israel, Russia, Ukraine, and Yemen, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, 
and all who suffer. Remembering this day those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we also pray for those who this day will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. For refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the third order this morning, we pray for the province of the Americas, for the Caribbean, for Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Nevis, for Trinidad and Tobago, and for the Virgin Islands. And we pray for Gary, Gloria, Neil, Diane, Rivers, Paulo, Jorge, Susan, Deborah, Joan, Elaine, Michelle, Karen, Janet, Douglas, Holly, Stephen, Anne, Lisa, Jandy, Linda, and our companions, Olga, Shirley, and David. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect for the Second Week of Lent Almighty God, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us faith to perceive his glory that being strengthened by his grace, we may be changed into his likeness, from glory to glory, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.